This building in New York City, not far from where Edison first switched on electrical power, might be thought of as a very big computer. And CAT is here to make sure it's always running. This is Intergate Manhattan, the tallest data center in the world. For decades, the local telephone company operated its switching control center from here. Sabi Data Center Properties bought the building in 2011. It turns out this analog relic is perfectly suited to the digital age. Now, you'll find servers humming away, and the floors of server space are supported by CAT C175 generator sets. The building was really made to be a data center just based on how it was designed originally. This is uh, one of our turnkey floors, a co-location data center floor, whereas we would install cabinets for um, future tenants or tenants. Tenants could be a wide variety of, uh, from financial institutions, banks, internet sites, and what they would put in these cabinets is a piece of equipment that either stores data or is a, a host to uh, an environment on the internet. And those types of servers need to be in a secure environment that uh, has uptime. We are actually in the secure perimeter of One Police Plaza, which is the headquarters for the New York City Police Department. So in order to get any kind of uh, materials or anything into this building, we have to go through a police roadblock, but it's also a real secure environment for our tenants and clients. One of the things we needed to do to get our generators in was we had to pick our generators from the loading dock and bring it up to the fourth floor via a crane swinging it in the side of the building. This is the loading dock area here where the generators came in over the road. And imagine that the crane was set up here to pick each individual machine and then hoist it up to the fourth floor. These louver sections here were removed so that the generators could be picked into the building. We rigged it into place here and then with 20 tradespeople, we brought it and rigged each of the four machines into position. Obviously, these walls were not here, which made it easy to get the machines into place. Here you see the machines in their final location. Caterpillar is our emergency generators of choice. We have four of them today. We have the ability to put 24 generators in the building. I've been working with Caterpillar for almost 20 years. I haven't really installed any other type of generator in any of my facilities. Uh, one of the things is reliability, knowing that when the power goes down, that's going to be there for you. It's going to start up in the time frame in which you think it's going to start and refeed your system. Another part of that is the way the Caterpillar maintenance group works. If you have any issues or if you have a problem, you know, they're right out there for you. And that reliability has always been there. And at Intergate Manhattan, Great maintenance means calling on professionals such as Mark Fronzak, veteran technician with local cat dealer H.O. Penn. Work from startups on new generator sets to PMs to working on units like from 3 megawatt all the way down to 12 kW. Mark says in New York City, it takes a lot of work just getting to the job. But he says once inside, Intergate Manhattan is extremely service friendly. At other New York buildings, even an oil change is challenging. You, know, you may have you know, upwards of four to six or more uh, 35, 16 gen sets, uh, you know, 110 gallons a piece, and you may have a uh, five to 10 flight walk up before you get to the generators. Most of those jobs you end up having to do with buckets. Some jobs you can have a whole day just doing nothing but <laughs> carrying uh, buckets upstairs. <laughs> There are challenges to servicing the gen sets in this building, but that's not unusual here in New York City. You'll find gen sets on the 30th, 40th, 50th, even the 92nd floor. Now imagine getting to those gen sets and there's no power. That happened during Hurricane Sandy. The day the storm came in, I was right there. I think I was the only technician that I know of that was actually on the, on the ground. I watched the storm come in, watched the water come over the wall, watched it start enveloping the buildings as it came up. I ended up moving my service truck while the waters were right about at the axle. Then by the time I walked back down to where the building was, I was walking through water about waist deep to get into the building. There were only a, probably a couple technicians to deal with just hundreds of, hundreds of calls. There were, there were a few jobs that some of the other technicians did that they, they had to carry you know, 8D batteries at 160 pounds a piece up 20 flights of stairs. Uh, it was a challenge. The Intergate Manhattan building was not affected by Superstorm Sandy, but with so much at stake, the building's director of operations says it's comforting to know cat gen sets are ready for anything. Well, I've been through three major events, you know, in the last 15 years, and one of the major events 
not really talked about much was in uh, August of 2003, we had a complete blackout in the city of New York. At the time, I was uh, running a building up, uptown, and I had four Caterpillar engines, and uh, we were the only uh, floors in a high-rise building that were uh, still operational. I come to count on Caterpillar due to their reliability. They're always there for you when you need them. You know they're going to start, and that's why we use them today. We're going to continue to use them in the future.